Chevy's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Up to $7,000 off select new 19 Equinox and Traverse. New 19 Equinox. Only $1,000 and first payment and fees to its signing. As low as $245 per month. The new 19 Blazer four-door LT. As low as $329 per month. Get more for your trade-in in Waukee. Schottenkirk's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Ends June 30th. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. MidAmerican Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Is this guy a contractor who does good work or a contractor who needs work? For a reliable recommendation, trust the Better Business Bureau, protecting consumers for over a century. When you go to BBB.org to check out a business, you'll learn if it's BBB accredited, see its grade on customer service, and read honest, useful reviews from local people. For online recommendations you can trust, start with trust at BBB.org slash Iowa. Hi, Ron here, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car's on the injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. I know that. That's why you need to bring it here to Westside Auto Pros. I have a team of experts that can fix almost every automotive injury. Whether it's a fractured joint, a brake, or if your car just got its bell rung, no problem. We can even do a complete physical on your car to make sure it's game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get it back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you guys are dogging it back here. Let's move it, move it, move it. You want to get stronger faster, healthier. You want more. You want to be part of something bigger than yourself. A place for people of all ages, all walks of life, that provides opportunities for all to succeed. We do that. We're the why. Build more than muscle. Build a stronger community. You want to get Welcome to Valley High School as we get ready for tonight's Central Iowa Game of the Week on 1460 KXNO and video streaming with CISN.TV. Trent got it here with you as we bring you Game 2 of the doubleheader tonight as West Des Moines Valley hosts Southeast Polk. CML Baseball, the season continues last week, the release of the substate. And we get to see the six teams in each of the eight sub-states across the state. Overall, I thought they did a really good job of passing out the teams, separating them. There's been uh, some concerns in past years. That's not so much the case. And with the power of the CIML, seeing a lot of those teams matched up against each other. Not the case this season. Possibility we could see four or five teams make their way to Principal Park in a very strong league again this year from the Central Iowa Conference. Well, we have a lot to get into here as they are preparing the field for game two of the doubleheader. Game one went to Southeast Polk as they win it 8-2 over the Valley Tigers. Valley falls to now 9-15 on the year, while Southeast Polk continues an outstanding season as they go to 21-8 on the season. Southeast Polk, number four in the latest rankings from the Iowa Coaches Association. Justin in the top spot. We had them earlier this week in their matchup against Ankeny Centennial here on 1460 KX and O. Centennial got that second game of the doubleheader. Still Johnson, though, in the top spot. 
certainly the team to beat. Dowling Catholic good again this year. And the surprise team to many, Des Moines Roosevelt, is a team that I talked about before the year. They are now 20-4 and four on the year, ranked number six in the latest rankings. And, of course, the other teams out there. Still Urbandale, very good this year. Ankeny High has been excellent. We've seen Waukee in and out of the rankings. The depth of the CIML this season, outstanding. Des Moines East has got a nice squad, too. We're going to see one of the better ones here tonight with Southeast Polk and looking forward to that. As they prepare the field, let's take a look at the starting lineups presented by Kempker's True Value up in Grimes and Granger. And let's get you first Southeast Polk, and they will go like this. Starting off and leading off for the Rams, it'll be Evan Martin, the designated hitter. He's batting in place of the left fielder, Carter Hope. Batting second, Adam Schneider, the shortstop. Schneider, good stick. His older brother up at South Dakota State playing very well for them. Jack Allison will bat third for the Rams. He is the third baseman wearing number 16. The cleanup hitter, number four, Calvin Harris, who will play first base. Carter Olson is the right fielder. He'll bat fifth in the sixth spot. It is Mason Porip who will be the pitcher tonight for Southeast Polk. Austin Enos is the seventh batter for the Rams. He'll be behind the plate. Evan Jersevic is the second baseman and will bat eighth. And batting in the nine hole, it's Caleb Cryer, the center fielder, Southeast Polk. 21 up, eight down on the year as we get ready to flip the calendar to July next week. Limited schedule with the 4th of July holiday, but still we'll be back out at it on Monday night. Let's take a look at the Valley Tigers trying to salvage a split here of this doubleheader tonight. They will go like this. Leading off and playing in center field, number 23, Drew Peterson, a sophomore. Batting in the second spot, it will be the shortstop, number 15, Tanner Christ. Christ, a junior. Batting in the three hole, it is Casey Stalzer. Stalzer plays third base. Kyle Buttoff will be the cleanup hitter, playing first base behind the plate tonight. For the Tigers, it is Jake Reck. Batting in the number six spot for Valley tonight, it is Jake Auer, Auer playing second base. Harriman is batting in the seventh spot and wearing number 19 tonight. Batting eighth, it'll be Wickham, the left fielder, and getting the start here this evening for the Tigers, and he'll be batting in the number nine spot is Parizic. That is the starting lineups brought to you by Kempker's True Value. We'll take a time out here, coming back on the other side as the starting lineups in the books. We got baseball right around the corner. It's Valley in Southeast Polk, and it's next on 1460 KXNO and video streaming on CISN. We're back with more in a moment. If you're thinking of incorporating or setting up an Iowa LLC, zoom right past LegalZoom and work with Rush Niggett, a Brick Gentry PC. He's set up an affordable online small business package that helps you decide whether to form a limited liability company LLC or a corporation. With Rush Niggett's help, it's easy to form your new small business. Learn more online at RushOnBusiness.com. Rush Niggett, a business lawyer with Brick Gentry Law PC. Go to RushOnBusiness.com. If you're, if you're in your family's eye care needs, make it Elite Eye Care. Dr. Ethan Heisman, Dr. Heidi Bell, and Dr. Kelsey Sawatsky provide expert eye care close to home. From eye exams to contact lenses, eyeglasses to sunglasses, make Elite Eye Care your local optometrist. In introducing Vision Therapy. Vision Therapy is a doctor-supervised, non-surgical, and customized program designed to correct vision problems. Elite Eye Care is one of the few optometrists to provide this service in Central Iowa. Set up your next eye care appointment with Elite Eye Care, 9250 University. University Avenue in West Des Moines and online at idoctordesmoines.com. For all of your moms typically get to make a majority of the healthcare decisions for their family. That can be a lot of pressure, but not for me because I know the choice is ours. For medical tests like MRIs, X-rays, CAT scans, and of course mammograms, ask your doctor to refer you to Iowa Radiology. They work around our hectic schedules. They're the best at what they do, and they're so great with my family. They truly care, and it shows. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule an appointment. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your good health. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and we've got Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. I've got the top domestic and import brands, and I've got fantastic inventory right now. So if you come in and you see what you like, we can have it on your deck within days. If you want a custom special order, we can do that as well. Most all of our import brands can ship within four or five weeks. Please come see us for all your outdoor furniture needs at Fireplace Superstore. 
Introducing the new Carhartt shop at G&L Clothing. All the Carhartt you've dreamed of under one roof. Some call it Carhartt heaven. Stop in today and see for yourself, but be prepared to stay for a while. The new Carhartt shop at G&L Clothing. Open seven days a week, 1801 Ingersoll. Online at glclothing.com. G Cotton Kirk Waukee Chevy's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Up to $7,000 off select new 19 Equinox and Traverse. New 19 Equinox. Only $1,000 and first payment and fees to its signing. As low as $245 per month. The new 19 Blazer four-door LT. As low as $329 per month. Get more for your trade-in in Waukee. Shot and Kirk's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Ends June 30th. Shot and Kirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. Kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way to detect cancers early and save lives. And that's good enough for me. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule your mammogram. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your good health. and other gifts to make the staff feel appreciated. Back Valley High School, Trent Cotton here with you. Game two of a double header. A Southeast folk on the road here for West Des Moines Valley. The Tigers falling game one to the Rams. Eight to the final there. Eight runs on eight hits for Southeast Polk. Two errors defensively on the other side for the Tigers. Two runs on five hits and no errors. Coach Ryan Cooley making his way out to home plate and exchanging the lineup card with Cohort on the other side, Dave Hartman, Coach, Coach Hartman taking over for Scott Belger. A couple of state championships to his credit, state championships for Valley. 
here on the recent path back in the 2000s and a run of four consecutive 2003, 2004, 2005, and 2006. A year ago, the Tigers on the cusp of another state championship game appearance in the semifinals. Couldn't hold a lead, though, in the seventh inning in a loss to Cedar Rapids, Washington, as Washington went on to the championship game. That's where Urbandale was champions. We are about a month away from the state tournament and looking forward to that. At Principal Park, always a great event put on by the Iowa High School Association and what they are doing uh, each and every year. Starts with the Class 1A over the weekend and then followed up with all the classes. The 4A field we keep the closest eye on. They play Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. A little bit different look this year, moving up some of those start times just a little bit. So an opportunity to uh, get out there, see some good baseball coming up here at Principal Park about a month away. Let's take a look at the rankings, the latest rankings put out by the Iowa Coaches Association. The rankings each and every week. Put out my own sl a slate of rankings. You can check those out each and every week over at KXNO.com and you can take a look at how I'm seeing things. But right now the Coaches Association, as they do each and every week, coming out and let's take a look at what they have. Uh, number one, it is Johnston. The top team, number two, Western Dubuque, is the second-ranked team in Class 4A. Iowa City West ranked third. The Southeast Polk team that we will be seeing tonight, they come in the number four spot. Not only Catholic at five, Des Moines Roosevelt at six. Linmar, Linmar is ranked seventh. Urbandale at eight. Ankeny Centennial ranked ninth. And Iowa City City High is ranked number 10. Those are the rankings in Class 4A. We're going to pause for another timeout. First pitch right around the corner of the National Anthem. We'll take a timeout, come back with the first pitch as we get ready. High School Baseball next at Southeast Polk against West Des Moines Valley on 1460 KXNO and the streaming with CISN. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Hi, Ron here, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car's on the injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. I know that. That's why you need to bring it here to Westside Auto Pros. I have a team of experts that can fix almost every automotive injury, whether it's a fractured joint, a brake, or if your car just got its bell rung, no problem. We can even do a complete physical on your car to make sure it's game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get it back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you guys are dogging it back here. Let's move it, move it, move it. Stronger faster healthier you want more you want to be part of something bigger than yourself a place for people of all ages all walks of life that provides opportunities for all to succeed we do that we're the why build more than muscle build a stronger community you want to get Funny and authentic. I'll keep the coverage. Boyd Valley High School as the Tigers get ready to face off against Southeast Polk CML Baseball Game of the Week. This one from earlier in the season when it was initially scheduled got rained out, pushed here to Thursday in a busy week for both of these squads. Already the doubleheaders that are normally scheduled on Mondays and Wednesdays across the CIML. It's already four games this week, two more here today, and a busy week continues for both squads as we lead our way up. Two substate play. We'll take a look at those substate pairings a little bit later on. The six teams in each substate. 
still playing for seeding at this point and a couple of weeks away from the announcement of how the brackets will set up. With six teams in each substate, though, the way it is set up, the number one seed plays the number six in the opening round, two versus five, three versus four, and then the top remaining seed receives a bye into the substate final. A, something that has been in place for a number of years, three times since this format has been introduced in substate play. A number one seed has been knocked off in that opening round by a six. Fortunately for Southeast Polk, two of those three times, it happened to them. The other time, Des Moines Hoover got Des Moines East four or five years back. We're ready for opening pitch, and there it is. First pitch, 7-17, and we are underway. Taking the bump for the Tigers, it's Oliver Parizic, a long-haired right-hander. Second pitch ripped down the line, but foul as Evan Martin jumped in front of that one. Martin putting together another outstanding year for the Southeast Polk Rams. Older brother at the University of Iowa. He had a great season this year. As the right-hander, Parizic ready again, called strike at the knees, one and two. So a youngster getting the start here, his first appearance on the varsity bump for Oliver Parizic and the Tigers. Pitch inside, just missing there, two and two. Wind going left to right here, whipping right now through the mic microphone on a hot night here for baseball. Followed straight back, remains two and two to Martin. Defensively for the Tigers, across the infield, it's Stalzer, Christ, Auer, and Buttoff from left to right. The 2-2. Ground ball left side, couple of hops into the glove of Stalzer, long throw across the diamond, high throw, but Botoff able to apply the tag for the putout, five to three. Throw a little bit high there and pulled him just a little bit up towards home plate. Was able to make the catch in the quick swipe tag though for the putout and the first out of the ball game. Martin retired five to three and that'll bring to the plate Adam Schneider. Martin Schneider, a couple of guys that older brothers, part of championship runs for Southeast Polk and those back-to-back -back championships. Trying to do it to themselves here this year. Pitch off the plate for a ball, 1-0 from Parisic. Schneider the shortstop. Left-handed swinger. As he drills one opposite way out to left field, settling underneath and putting it in the mitt for out. Number two is Whitcomb. And quickly two away here in the varsity debut for Oliver Parizic. So he's out there looking good, the right-hander. Chance to kind of breathe a sigh of relief. Now looking for that one, two, three inning. It'll be Jack Allison for the Rams. Pitch up at the letters for a ball, one and oh. Long blonde hair flowing out of the, the black cap of Parizic. He's ready with the 1 0. Foul back. And the count evens at 1 and 1. Valley injuries have put a little bit of a damper on the season this year with the loss in game one of the doubleheader. And they're now 9 and 15 this year. Pitch missing away 2 and 1. Tough schedule is always up and down. and Talking to some of the coaches before the year, that's one thing that they mentioned. Thought they had a chance to be good, but not sure how much depth they were going to have if there were some injuries, and that has been the case for the Tigers. Pitch missing up now, three and one. Two Allison. Allison, a sturdy right-handed stick, plays third base for the Rams, and follows this one out of play, three and two. Well, the count is full with two-way. Top of the first inning, no score. Southeast Polk and West Des Moines Valley in our Central Iowa game of the week. Thanks for being aboard with us here on KXNO. Also, you can catch the video stream at CISN.TV. Look it up on YouTube. This one rip foul down the third baseline. And back to the box will go Allison.
Ready again with the 3-2 is Parizic working out of the windup, the pitch. That one misses inside, scoots away from Wreck, the catcher. Not far enough for an advancement, though, just trotting down to first base is Allison. So the first base runner of game two of this double dip is for Southeast Polk. Allison trots his way over to first base. He'll stand there. Uh, stepping to the plate, it'll be Calvin Harris. Harris, the cleanup man for Southeast Polk. Polk in their black uniforms here in game two. We're wearing the yellows in game one with the gray pants and the black helmets. Valley, black tops here in game two with the white pants, black caps, the orange lettering, and the white trim. 0-1 oh, the count as Prezik works out of the stretch for the first time. Curveball called, strike 0-2. Oh, Good snap to that pitch. So jumps ahead in the count, 0-2, oh, trying to get out this first inning at the varsity leather level unscathed here in the top of the first inning. Allison with the lead at first base. This one dropped into center field for a single off the bat of Calvin Harris. So just like that, two on now for Southeast Polk as they're threatening here in the top of the first inning. It'll be Carter Olson stepping in. A walk followed by a single. Two on, two out, and the right fielder Olsen. 335 down the left field line here at Valley. 395 to straightaway center field. The short porch, though, in right field, just 305 down that right field line. Called strike going one to Olsen. Another right-handed stick for Southeast Polk. Ranked number four. Ground ball right side. Hour with it. Take the throw to first base, makes the play, and the side is retired. No runs on one hit. There were two runners left on. We played a half inning of baseball. Southeast Polk, zero. West Des Moines Valley coming to the plate. Back with more in a moment. High school baseball on 1460 KXNO and streaming video at CISN. Incorporating or setting up an Iowa LLC. Zoom right past LegalZoom and work with Rush Niggett, a Brick Gentry PC. He's set up an affordable online small business package that helps you decide whether to form a limited liability company LLC or a corporation. With Rush Niggett's help, it's easy to form your new small business. Learn more online at RushOnBusiness.com. Rush Niggett, a business lawyer with Brick Gentry Law PC. Go to RushOnBusiness.com. If you're thinking Mid American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So, what's next? We'll keep delivering cost effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right, you decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. It is the Valley Tigers getting ready for their first swing of things in the bottom of the first inning. No score here. Southeast Polk not able to dent the scoreboard first time around after the ground out from Olsen to end the inning. It'll be Drew Peterson up first for the Tigers. First pitch across with a fastball and a called strike from Mason Porrip. Drew Peterson getting the start in center field for the Tigers. Called strike two, jumping ahead 0-2. Peterson, a sophomore, three of 12, coming into play tonight. Hitting 250s, he drives one out to center field, coasting over, jumping up and making the play in center was Caleb Cryer for the put out. So Cryer able to nab that in center field. Looked like for a moment, maybe overran it, but able to Hop up into the air and put it into the mitt for out one. 
It'll be Tanner Chris next for the Tigers. Chris playing shortstop here in game two of this double dip. A junior, 8 of 34 at the plate. Fouls this one back. 0 and 1. Five RBI this season. Struck out five times. He's yet to walk. Hitting 235. This one popped out of play over the right side. Just like that. Now 0 and 2. Mason Porup, he's getting the ball and he is throwing strikes here for Southeast Polk. Confident in the mound. And he's ready to go. Swing and a miss, strike three. First strike out of the game for Mason Porup as he is able to get Chris swinging for the second out. Quickly two away. And it'll be Casey Stalzer to the plate. Stalzer, the third baseman. Had the first put out of the game on a 5-3 throw to retire Evan Martin. A lefty stick getting a swing against Porip. Stalls are third on the team and hits. Grounds one to the right side. A high bounce up at the chest. Making the throw in time is Jersevic. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for the Tigers here in their half of the first inning. One complete. No score with Southeast Polk and West Des Moines Valley. High school baseball continues in a moment on 1460 KXNO and streaming video at CISN.TV. The new Carhartt shop at G&L Clothing. All the Carhartt you've dreamed of under one roof. Some call it Carhartt heaven. Stop in today and see for yourself, but be prepared to stay for a while. The new Carhartt shop at G&L Clothing. Open seven days a week, 1801 Ingersoll. Online at glclothing.com. G&L Clothing. Introducing the Stronger, new faster, healthier. You want more. You want to be part of something bigger than yourself. A place for people of all ages, all walks of life, that provides opportunities for all to succeed. We do that. We're the why. Build more than muscle. Build a stronger community. You want to get... Top of the second inning, Valley Southeast Boat, no score here in West Des Moines. Our CIML Game of the Week presented by Kempker's True Value. Two locations in the Northern Metro along with Elite Eye Care. University Avenue in West Des Moines and Rush Niggett of Brick Gentry Law PC for your franchise law needs. Fouled straight back and out of play off the bat of the pitcher, Mason Porip. One and one the count is Oliver Parizic. And solid on the bump to this point. Gave up just that one hit in the first inning, making his varsity debut. Pitch slides off the plate, two and one. Mentioned some new names out there right now for Valley. Saw a couple of their games earlier this season. It's, this one's popped high in the infield on the right side, drifting over, putting it away, is our for the first out of the second. So a pop out retires Pull rip, and with one out, that'll bring Austin Enos to the plate. Enos, the catcher, back behind the dish for the fourth-ranked Southeast Polk Rams, 21 and 8 this year. After their win in Game One, off-speed pitch and a called strike, jumping ahead 0 and 1. Three undefeated teams left across the state: Central DeWitt. As a high pop fly into foul ground. Catcher going to call off the third baseman, Stalzer, who dived out of the way. And Rec takes it for the second out. Just like that, two away. And Evan Jersevic will come up next for the Rams. 
Those other undefeated teams, West Lion, 21-0 on the year, and Southeast Warren, our neighbors down to the south, 20-0 on the season. No undefeated teams remaining in Class 4A. So with two outs, Jersevic, who made the final out last inning defensively, will get a look, 1-0 to him. Out of the windup, Parizic ready. And a pitch, that one missing away, 2-0. and <laughs> Young man working his way through here in his varsity debut on the mound, and a called strike on the outside corner, 2-1. and one. Check that freshman, Oliver Parizic. No, sophomore, I had it right. Looked at the number nine. As this one's drilled on a line to center field. Hopping up and making the play in center field. Must be a little bit more carry out there. That's the second time defensively we've seen the center fielder have to pop up at the last moment. This time Peterson able to make the play. Three up, three down for Southeast Polk. One and a half complete. No score with Southeast Polk and West Des Moines Valley. Continuing on high school baseball on 1460 KXNO. Presented by Rush Niggett, a Brick Gentry Law PC. Kepker's true value and a lead eye care as we come back in a moment. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and we've got Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. I've got the top domestic and import brands, and I've got fantastic inventory right now. So if you come in and you see what you like, we can have it on your deck within days. If you want a custom special order, we can do that as well. Most all of our import brands can ship within four or five weeks. Please come see us for all your outdoor furniture needs at Fireplace Superstore. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. It's kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way. Check out it back with you. We go to the home half of the second inning. No score, Southeast Spoken, West Des Moines Valley. As the Tigers step to the plate. Leading off, it'll be Kyle Buttoff, the first baseman for West Des Moines Valley. Out for his second inning of work, Mason Porip for the Rams. Right-handed batter here for the Tigers. But off, drops one into foul ground. Long run out there down the left field line and gonna run out of room as it scoots past the fence and out of play. Two and one now for Buttoff. Junior, 8 of 33, coming in to play tonight. Does have a couple of home runs. Two of the eight this season for the Tigers, eight knocked in. Also a triple to his credit. 15 strikeouts, though, do lead the team. As Buttoff batting 242. Nick Buttoff, first baseman here tonight in the second game of this double dip. Off speed pitch spins off the plate. Now three and one. Waiting on deck, Jake Breck. And ball four. So the first base runner of the game for Valley here in the bottom of the second inning is Nick Buttoff. And that'll bring Wreck to the plate. Wreck 11 of 32 swinging this year of those 11 hits. He double also. He's knocked in five. As Rec hitting 344 this year for West Des Moines Valley. First pitch, throw down to first by the catcher. Not in time, trying to get butt off. Sliding away from the bag. Missed the call from the home plate umpire. We'll check on the count. No out with a runner on for Valley. Pitch inside, nearly got wreck as he's able to scoop below that pitch that was coming up at the helmet. And it's 2-0. and 
But off not much of a stealing thread, 0 for 1 on the base pass this year. As a team, Valley 23 of 31 in stolen bases. Batting 298 this season as a team. 3 0 the count. Swinging green light and a short pop fly into shallow right field. Easy play in right for Olsen. And the first out here in the bottom of the second. So Rec retired for the first one. And that'll bring up the second base baseman for the Tigers, Jake Auer. Back to back Jake's at the plate. As Auer takes a look down the third base coaching box and head coach Ryan Cooley down there. Goes through the signs, pitch inside for a ball, 1-0. Waiting on deck, Peyton Harriman. Harriman used a bunch this year as a runner. Getting a start in right field. Runner off with the pitch. Throw down to second. Not in time. I said it a little bit earlier, but off. Didn't think he was much of a stolen base threat, but he got a great jump over there. Showed good wheels. And now he's in a scoring position with one out. 2-0 the count now for Mason Porip. Make it 1-1. One one. Right into a little bit of trouble, though. For the first time. Off-speed pitch and a called strike. 1-2. and two. Our six hits this year and 22 official at-bats. He scored five runs, knocked in two. Batting 273. Long wait and time called. Hour was awarded it. Pitcher Porip finishes motion and threw it into the plate. No pitch though. And we'll try it again, one and two. One out in the bottom of the second. No score with Valley and Southeast Polk. Ground ball left side, couple of hops. Look at second base, then the throw over in time. Trying to throw down to second, not in time there. But the 5-3 put out. Retires our two outs for Peyton Harriman. Harriman starting in right field tonight for West Des Moines Valley. Harriman a junior. Mentioned has scored eight runs as a courtesy runner mostly. Hitting one for 11 as poor Rip. Spun towards second base, didn't even throw though back at Nick Buttoff. He gets his lead again at second, two outs. Ground ball to the right side, Jersevic. Side arms a throw over in time. And the side is retired. No runs on no hits, there was a runner left on, two complete. Southeast Poke zero, West Des Moines Valley zero. Back with more high school baseball in a moment on 1460 KXNO and video streaming at CISN.TV. Shop at g and Clothing. All the Carhartt you've dreamed of under one roof. Some call it Carhartt heaven. Stop in today and see for yourself, but be prepared to stay for a while. The new Carhartt shop at g and Clothing. Open seven days a week, 1801 Ingersoll. Online at g and Clothing.com. Moms typically get to make a majority of the healthcare decisions for their family. That can be a lot of pressure, but not for me, because I know the choice is ours. For medical tests like MRIs, x-rays, CAT scans, and of course mammograms, ask your doctor to refer you to Iowa Radiology. They work around our hectic schedules. They're the best at what they do, and they're so great with my family. They truly care, and it shows. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule an appointment. Iowa Radiology. Top of the third inning, no score. Southeast Polk, and they're facing off against the West Des Moines Valley Tigers here in West Des Moines. Trent Condon with you. High school baseball continues on KXNO. Got the video stream tonight. Big thank you to Pete Tarpey. First pitch swinging. 
lifted out to left center field. That'll hang up in the breeze and into the mitt of Drew Peterson for the first out. So Caleb Cryer retired to begin things, the number nine hitter for Southeast Polk. Back to the top of the lineup, here comes Evan Martin for the Rams. And Martin, the DH, batting in place of left fielder Carter Hope. Southeast Polk continues with the Martins, the Schneiders, names that certainly baseball fans here across the CIML over the last half decade or so know both of those guys. There's a pitch, that one missing just up. Now 2-0 and oh. to Martin. Oliver Parizic, he's been outstanding his first two innings at the varsity level. As the sophomore ready with the 2-0. -oh. This one lifted into left center field again. Peterson with the long run. He gives way to the left fielder all the way over. That was a long run out there for Whitcomb, but he was able to make the play. That thing just kept drifting back out towards center field. The center fielder Peterson had given up on it, had made way for Wickham, the left fielder, to take it, and it kept going towards center field. But a nice play by him for the second out. So two flyouts here in the top of the third off the bats of Ram hitters. And with two away, Adam Schneider will get another look. First pitch swinging for him down the left field line. Slicing foul. No one had extra bases written all over it if he could find fair territory. Not the case, though. And he'll have to make the long walk back to grab his bat in the batter's box. 21-8 this year, Southeast Polk. He played good baseball throughout, ranked fourth in the latest. Saw them real early this season in their matchup with Des Moines East. They had gotten off to an 0-3 start. Since then, they have put it together. Curveball and a called strike from Parizic. And it's 0-2. This week, though, been a little bit different for Southeast Polk. As they were swept by Marshalltown on Monday. And then last night on the road up in Mason City, they split a pair there. So lost three out of their last four after winning 12 out of 13 games. One and two the count. This one lifted high in the air in the infield. Shortstop Christ able to put it away. Tanner Christ with the put out. Another one, two, three inning for Oliver Parizic. We played two and a half innings of baseball. Southeast Polk nothing, West Des Moines Valley nothing. We continue high school baseball on 1460 KXNO and streaming video at CISN.TV. We're back with more here in a moment. Everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Moms typically get to make a majority of the healthcare decisions for their family. That can be a lot of pressure, but not for me, because I know the choice is ours. For medical tests like MRIs, x-rays, CAT scans, and of course mammograms, ask your doctor to refer you to Iowa Radiology. They work around our hectic schedules. They're the best at what they do, and they're so great with my family. They truly care, and it shows. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule an appointment. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your good health. Bottom of the third inning, no score. Southeast Polk, West Des Moines Valley High School Baseball on KXNO. Trent Condon here as we are a month away from the state tournament at Principal Park. As this one's popped back and out of play off the bat of Wickham. Wickham, the left fielder, made a great play defensively, arranging all the way from left field into deep left center for the second out last half inning. Getting the start here this evening as the pitch misses low. Now one and two 
to Wickham. Wickham, 3 of 10, does have a double this year. As a cold strike on the inside half of the plate as Wickham goes down. Second strikeout of the night for Mason Porip. And now Oliver Parizic steps up. Parizic making his varsity debut on the mound. And first pitch swinging, that one popped out of play. Parizic, a sophomore, long blonde hair flowing out of the back of his batting helmet. And he is confounded. The Southeast poke batters to this point, giving up just one hit. Tigers looking for their first hit of the game. Had a walk of butt off the only base runner. He stole second base. Number nine hitter drifts one out to right field. Scooting over up near the line and able to make it was Olsen. Made a little bit tricky up against that warning track. A stumble in there when he puts it out for the second out. Parizic reti retired now. And with two outs. And it's back to the top of the lineup in Drew Peterson. Peterson 0 for 1. He got the hitting started for the Tigers with a fly out to center field. First pitch swinging from him. Dribbled foul. Looking at the numbers for Peterson. 3 of 12 coming into play tonight. Pitch missing off the plate, one and one. Pull rip trying to pull rip trying to get a one, two, three, third as we play with no score. Southeast Pocan Valley, the Rams ranked number four. Tigers trying to get on the right side of things. As pull rip making his sixth start of the year, comes in with a five and one record. That pitch well off the plate. Two and one. Make that three and one. 33 and a third innings pitched. He's given up six earned runs, a 1.26 ERA. Second on the team with 39 strikeouts, has walked 10. Dribbler foul. Opponents betting just 160 against the junior right-hander Mason Porip from Southeast Polk. Count it full, three and two to Drew Peterson. Peterson open stance in the box as he peers out. Cut on and miss, strike three, third strikeout of the game for Mason Porip. Three complete, Southeast Polk nothing, Valley nothing. We go to the top of the fourth inning, looking for that first run. Back with more in a moment, high school baseball continues on 1460 KXNO and video streaming at CISN.TV. Hi, Ron here, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car's on the injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. I know that. That's why you need to bring it here to Westside Auto Pros. I have a team of experts that can fix almost every automotive injury. Whether it's a fractured joint, a brake, or if your car just got its bell rung, no problem. We can even do a complete physical on your car to make sure it's game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get it back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you guys are dogging it back here. Let's move it, move it, move it. Introducing the new Carhartt Shop at G&L Clothing. All the Carhartt you've dreamed of under one roof. Some call it Carhartt Heaven. Stop in today and see for yourself, but be prepared to stay for a while. The new Carhartt Shop at G&L Clothing. Open seven days a week, 1801 Ingersoll. Online at glclothing.com. G&L Clothing. Your size, your style, we Top of the fourth inning here in West Des Moines Valley and Southeast Polk, no score. As it has been a pitcher's duel, Oliver Parizic, the sophomore, making his varsity debut. Been outstanding, trying to solve that very talented lineup for Southeast Polk. Four time around, four time at the plate for Southeast Polk. Parizic ready, the right-hander leading it off. It'll be Jack Allison for the Rams. 
Pitch up at the letters for a ball. And quickly 2-0. and oh. Shortstop playing deep in the hole. That's Tanner Christ. The pitch. Popped to the right side. Into the outfield and grass. Settling right up against the line and making the play for the Tigers is Peyton Harriman for the first out here of the fourth inning. So Allison retired for the first time. He walked back in the first inning. That'll bring Kelvin Harris up. Harris, he's the only player tonight that has a hit. We're playing in the top of the fourth inning on either side. Harris had a single, was left stranded there back in the first inning. First pitch, cross for a strike, 0-1 from Oliver Parizic. Perizic ready again with the 0-1. This one, another high pop fly. But off looking for it. He'll give way to the second baseman out in the grass, Jake Auer, who makes it. He saw right away, but off. Thought he had a beat on it and then lost it. But Auer was hustling over. He was able to settle underneath and make the put out for the second out. So nine consecutive now retired. From the sophomore, Oliver Prezik and his first varsity appearance on the mound and gets a called strike, strike against Carter Olson. Olson grounded out to second base to end the threat in the first. And the two on, this is a slow roller but foul down the third baseline. Olson, a junior, 24 of 71 at the plate this year. Two home runs. Four doubles, two triples. He's knocked in 15. Batting 338 on the year coming into play tonight. This one hit hard out to left field. That one is back up to the warning track, but settling underneath it. Another nice play by Whitcomb. Three up, three down. Ten consecutive retired by Parizic. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. No score. Southeast Spoken Valley continues. On 1460 KXNO and video streaming at CISN.TV. Stick and stay right there. We got a good one. Hi, I'm Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and we've got Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. I've got the top domestic and import brands, and I've got fantastic inventory right now. So if you come in and you see what you like, we can have it on your deck within days. If you want a custom special order, we can do that as well. Most all of our import brands can ship within four or five weeks. Please come see us for all your outdoor furniture needs at Fireplace Superstore. Of incorporating or setting up an Iowa LLC, zoom right past LegalZoom and work with Rush Niggett, a Brick Gentry PC. He's set up an affordable online small business package that helps you decide whether to form a limited liability company LLC or a corporation. With Rush Niggett's help, it's easy to form your new small business. Learn more online at rushonbusiness.com. Rush Niggett, a business lawyer with Brick Gentry Law PC. Go to rushonbusiness.com. If you're thinking Trek out of back with you on CISN.TV and 1460 KXNO High School Baseball. Bottom of the four, still no score. Valley coming to bat and looking for their first hit of the night here in this second game of the double dip. That's Tanner Christ up for the second time. Christ a strikeout victim. His first time at the plate. Check swing and a called strike. 0-2. Chris the shortstop for the Tigers getting the start here. Game two of this doubleheader. 8-2 was the final in game one. Southeast Polk got it done. Strike three on the outside corner as Chris watched that one sail in. And a quick peek back behind him at the home plate umpire to no avail. Fourth strike out of the game for Mason Porip. And with one out, it'll be Casey Stalzer. Stalzer, a junior, 17 hits this year, batting 304 as he lifts one into shallow center field. As Schneider had to go way back into the grass, but able to put it in 
and make the play for the second out. Two outs just like that as Nick Buttoff will come to the plate. Buttoff, the only base runner of the night for the Tigers here in this game. He walks, stole second base in the second. First pitch swinging a liner to Schneider who grabs it. Three up, three down, an easy inning for Mason Polrip. Four complete. Southeast Polk nothing, Valley nothing. Back with more in a moment. High school baseball continues on 1460. KXNO and video streaming at CISN. Owns. Family's eye care needs make it Elite Eye Care. Dr. Ethan Heisman, Dr. Heidi Bell, and Dr. Kelsey Sawatsky provide expert eye care close to home. From eye exams to contact lenses, eyeglasses to sunglasses, make Elite Eye Care your local optometrist. In introducing Vision Therapy. Vision Therapy is a doctor-supervised, non-surgical, and customized program designed to correct vision problems. Elite Eye Care is one of the few optometrists to provide this service in Central Iowa. Set up your next eye care appointment with Elite Eye Care, 9250 University. University Avenue in West Des Moines and online at idoctordesmoines.com. For all of Top of the fifth inning here in West Des Moines. Valley and Southeast folks still looking for that first mark on the scoreboard. 0-0 as it has been goose eggs across for four straight innings. No score, just one hit in the game. As the sophomore Oliver Parizic takes his final warm-up toss. He has been good in his varsity debut. Certainly got to be happy about what they've seen to this point for head coach Ryan Cooley and his staff. Not a Parisic. Getting things, it'll be his counterpart on the mound. That's Mason Porip. Porip's been great himself, has yet to allow a hit. And this one skips by Stalzer into short left field. We'll see how the official score will call that one. Hard hit ball, had a range just a shade to the left. Regardless, Porip's aboard. We'll get a courtesy runner in for him. So the leadoff man on now for Southeast Polk. And that'll bring Austin Enos to the plate. So the courtesy runner at first base for Southeast Polk for the pitcher Porip. And Enos with his second plate appearance. He's 0 for 1. Popped out to the catcher. Here's the pitch, that one well off the plate, charging in with Stalzer from third base. He was about 40 feet away from home plate. That ball finally hit the catcher's pud. One to know the count. Runner off at first base, showing bunt, pulling back, but a called strike evens the count at one and one. He knows for Southeast Polk, trying to deliver a sacrifice here, sophomore. 10 to 35 at the plate this year. Does have one sacrifice to his credit. Now swinging and fouls it straight back. One and two. As Stalzer saw him cutting and tried to pull back as they mentioned how close he was getting. Southeast Polk players got a kick out of that down in the third base dugout. So the count. One and two to Enos. Runner at first base. Now into second as the bunt popped over on the left side. So over at second now is the courtesy runner for Southeast Polk. That is Jason Scandifio, a senior. Scandifio this year. Does have a stolen base to his credit. Now is at second base with nobody out. 
Runner in scoring position for just the second time tonight for Southeast Polk. First time came though with two outs and a pitch missing low as Rec almost threw that by the pitcher Parizic. Sophomore on a windy hot night here in West Des Moines. Game time temperature was 86 degrees. Our first pitch at 717. Here's the sacrifice. Throw to first high throw, but there was our to get the put out. It'll be three to four on the sacrifice. Enos does his job, and now the first run of the game, 90 feet away with one away. With one out for Evan Jersevic. Making his way over as Enos. He's going to get a high five from everybody in the Southeast Polk dugout. Getting that sacrifice down and in a scoreless game, important those little things as the season progresses. Those are the things you're going to have to do to win games at the sub-state level and all the way to the state tournament. Certainly Southeast Polk has their sights set on that, the fourth-ranked team in Class 4A for Coach Hartman and company. Jersevic with a runner at third, infield in, one out. Popped out of play, one and one. Jersevic flew out to center field to end the second inning, so his second look against sophomore Oliver Parizic. Infield in on the grass with one away. Runner at third. Southeast Polk threatening. Pitch up at the letters. Two and one the count. The pitch. This one popped right over our heads again. Two and two with one out. One important spot right now. Parizic trying to find a way to get that second out and have his defense be able to get back to their normal spots. Two and two. Inside corner called strike three. Oh, what a pitch there from Oliver Parizic. Gets the strikeout and the first K of the night. in a game where he has given up just one hit. So with two outs, the defense able to retreat back. It'll be Caleb Cryer, number nine hitter for the Rams. Cryer flew out to center field to begin the third inning in his first plate appearance. Two and zero. The count quickly, though, to Caleb Cryer. Cryer, a junior, 15 of 63 at the plate, and a called strike. Two and one. Cryer with three doubles, 21 RBI, though. Batting in the nine spot, leads the team in RPI. Boy, you love to see that. Number nine hitter can deliver at that level. He's got a chance here with a runner at third. Pitch missing away, now three and one. Hitters count. Top of the lineup with Evan Martin waiting on deck. Always dangerous there. As Parizic takes a little extra time getting back onto the mound. The three one. This one popped over into the bullpen up the right side. And the count goes full, three and two. Runner at third base. That's the courtesy runner, Jason Scandifio. As he stands at third, talking it over with Coach Hartman. Foul tip into the mitt, strike three. Cryer retired, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Oliver Parizic. His first two strikeouts of the game came with runner on third base and able to escape the jam. 
Four and a half complete. Home half of the fifth inning next as we continue high school baseball on 1460 KXNO. Still no score with Valley and Southeast Polk. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Out of the fifth inning, still no score. Southeast Polk and West Des Moines Valley in our Central Iowa game of the week. Tigers at the plate. Still looking for their first hit of the ball game as Mason Porup, he has been mowing them down here throughout this one. We play in the bottom of the fifth. This one drilled into left field. There's the first hit of the game off the bat of Jake Reck. So Rec breaks up the no-no bid for a Mason Porip. And with the catcher getting on there, we'll get a courtesy runner. It'll be Ben Detay. Speedy outfielder also pitches for the Tigers, getting a breather here tonight, but he'll be doing some courtesy running. No score in the bottom of the fifth inning. Fourth rank Southeast Polk Valley. Trying to get the back half of this doubleheader with Detay over at first base. Jake Auer, his second opportunity at the plate. Auer grounded out for the second out of the second inning. And squares to bunt, pulls it back. Throw down to first as Detay able to jump back into first. 1-0 the count as Auer pulled back that bunt attempt. Coach Cooley going through the signs in the third base coaching box. Third baseman playing a couple of steps in from the bag. There's a called strike on the outside corner, one and one. And nobody out in the bottom of the fifth. Detay takes his lead from first base. Throw over at him. Didn't have much of a lead, but poor Rip. Certainly wants to keep Detay as close as possible to that first base bag. He's the courtesy runner for the catcher, Rec, who just singled a moment ago. There's a curveball, sacrifice bunt attempt. Porup makes the throw to first. Quick throw back to the runner at second. Detay was easily over there. So a sacrifice laid down by Jake Auer. He does his job. Advancing the runner into scoring position, and now... Tigers are a hit in the outfield away from taking the lead. No score in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring Peyton Harriman to the plate for the second time. Harriman grounded out to second base his first time up. With one out, the pitch. Oh, showed bunt, pulled it down, and the ball scoots away from the catcher. Now goes into short left field. Here comes Detay. He will score standing up. So as the ball got away from the catcher, Detay took third base. Enos then threw it to third. Didn't look like he was going to have much of a chance. The throw was wild. Went off the glove of the third baseman and into short left field. That allowed Detay to get up from his dive into third and score easily. And the Tigers are on the board, 1-0. First run of the game, Ben Detay making it happen. Coming in as a courtesy runner after the hit. First of the night for the Tigers, off the back of Jake Reck. 1-2 and two the count to Peyton Harriman. Right fielder tonight for the Tigers. Valley 1, Southeast Polk nothing. 
Ground ball back up the middle. Oh, what a play by Porip at the pitcher's mound. The easy toss to first, and there's two outs. Not a difficult play always to make for the pitcher. Roll him back up the mound, but able to stab it easily. Porup going to go back to the rosin bag there for a moment after having his hand down in the dirt. He's ready to go now for Wickham. Wickham trying to bunt for a hit. Porup barehands it and fires in time. Boy, a lot of hop there from Mason Porup, but Valley gets the first run of the game. Tigers won. Southeast Polk nothing. We go to the top of the sixth inning in a one-run game. Back with more high school baseball in a moment on 1460 KXNO and video streaming at CISN.TV. Stronger. Faster. Healthier. You want more. You want to be part of something bigger than yourself. A place for people of all ages. All walks of life that provides opportunities for all to succeed. We do that. We're the why. Build more than muscle. Build a stronger community. Of incorporating or setting up an Iowa LLC. Zoom right past LegalZoom and work with Rush Niggett, a Brick Gentry PC. He's set up an affordable online small business package that helps you decide whether to form a limited liability company LLC or a corporation. With Rush Niggett's help, it's easy to form your new small business. Learn more online at RushOnBusiness.com. Rush Niggett, a business lawyer with Brick Gentry Law PC. Go to RushOnBusiness.com. If you're thinking true value and rental. Top of the sixth inning, Valley won, Southeast Polk nothing. In our Central Iowa game of the week on 1460 KXNO. Glad to have you here with us tonight. Top of the sixth inning, top of the lineup for the Rams. It'll be Evan Martin, Adam Schneider, and Jack Allison due up for the Rams here in their half of the sixth inning. No runs on one hit for Southeast Polk. Valley, one run on one hit. That one base hit came around to score. Rec delivered the hit. Detay did the running as it's one nothing. Tapper over to third base. Stalzer charges in, throws. Not in time. Martin hustling up the first base box. He'll get an infield single. Southeast Polk showing a little life here in the top of the sixth inning. Second hit of the night for the Rams. The other came all the way back in the first inning off the bat of Calvin Harris. A cleanup hitter. Here's Adam Schneider for the third time. Third look against the sophomore Oliver Parizic making his varsity debut. He has been great for the Tigers. There's a pitch. That one just missed 1-0. Schneider flew out to left field his first time up, then popped out to the shortstop. Two and zero the count. There's a pitch low, good block behind the plate by Jake Reck, keeping that in front of him. So Rec putting together a solid performance here tonight. Got the only hit for the Tigers, playing great back there and working with a youngster on the mound. And Oliver Parizic. He's ready with the 3-0, gets the call on the inner half, 3-1. and one. To Adam Schneider. This one tapped over to first base. Buttoff makes the play at first base. Throws to second. Not able to get it at second base. Not a force play after Buttoff. Got the force out at first base. Threw down to second. Ball skipped away, though, from the shortstop, Christ. So Martin is at second base. Schneider able to at least advance that runner into scoring position. On the first baseman unassisted play for the first out. 
And here's Jack Allison. Allison 0 for 1. He walked in the first inning. So he grounds one to third and stalls her foul ball. And then flew out to right field. That was the first out of the fourth inning. One out, one strike, top of the sixth inning. Valley one, Southeast Polk still looking for their first run as they're at the plate. Runner in scoring position, that's Evan Martin. Martin showed good speed on that infield single. There's a pitch, another one low that's smothered by Rex. Rex going to try to throw back behind a second. Not in time, though, as Martin steps on the second base bag. One and one the count for Jack Allison. Allison second on the team with 30 hits coming into play tonight. He lifts one out to left center field. That is way back. That is over the head of the center fielder. Extra bases for Jack Allison. Martin makes the turnaround third. He'll score standing up. A double and an RBI for Jack Allison. We're tied again. This time at one apiece. Well, Allison, his third look at Parizic, he found something out over the plate, and he put a wallop into it. Playing in a touch there was Drew Peterson. I don't think it matters who would have been out there, though. That was going to be an incredibly difficult play to make. And the first extra base hit of the night comes off the bat of Jack Allison. And we'll get a runner now coming in for him. Looks like Standifio, who we saw earlier, as a courtesy runner, he's going to come in as a pinch runner here. More than likely, there'll be re-entry on the back side of that with Allison being able to come back in next half inning and play third base. Calvin Harris now looking to deliver with one out. He's got a runner in scoring position after the double from Allison. First pitch swinging for him to left field. Wickham, he's on his horse. He's trying to make the over-the-shoulder catch and does. What a catch again by Wickham. This time he goes Willie Mays, the over-the-head catch. Brings it in. The runner was off there. Scandifio was looking to score. He had to retreat all the way back. So not even able to tag up. He stands at second base. Wickham, he has put it together a great performance there defensively in left field. And that is as good of a play as you'll see for a left fielder in high school baseball. Wow. How about that? Still 1-1 as we play in the top of the sixth inning. Here's Carter Olson. With two outs and a runner at second. Olson 0 for 2. Grounded out to end the first inning. And then flew out to left field. Another good play out there from Wickham. That was to end the fourth. This time he goes out to right field, drifting back. Ball still hanging in the air, but able to put it away in right field for the Tigers as Harriman, and that retires the side. But a run put up by Southeast Polk ties it. At one apiece, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Valley one, Southeast Polk one. High school baseball continues on 1460 KXNO and video streaming at CISN TV. Stay right there, a good one here tonight. Is this guy a contractor who does good work or a contractor who needs work? For a reliable recommendation, trust the Better Business Bureau, protecting consumers for over a century. When you go to BBB.org to check out a business, you'll learn if it's BBB accredited, see its grade on customer service, and read honest, useful reviews from local people. For online recommendations you can trust, start with trust at bbb.org slash Iowa. 
Chevy's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Up to $7,000 off select new 19 Equinox and Traverse. New 19 Equinox. Only $1,000 and first payment and fees to its signing. As low as $245 per month. The new 19 Blazer 4-Door LT. As low as $329 per month. Get more for your trade-in in Waukee. Schottenkirk's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Ends June 30th. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. The sixth inning in West Des Moines, Valley 1, Southeast Polk 1. As we continue with more high school baseball on KXNO, glad to have you here with us. You can catch the video stream. Just search on YouTube, CISN.TV. You can find it there as first pitch swinging from Parizic fouls it right up against the press box. Over on the right side of it, not the left. Thank goodness for that. Owen won the count. It's one tap foul, Owen 2, Parizic making his varsity debut here tonight. He's been great on the bump, giving up just one earned run to this high-powered Southeast Polk squad. Polk took game one of the double dip, 8-2. 1-1 in our game, game two of this double header inside, nearly got Parizic, but he's able to spin out of the way, one and two. Parizic with a fly out his first time up. Top of the order due up next for the Tigers. Ground ball to the right side, a slow roller to Jurcevic. He makes the play easily for the first out. Good solid defense over there from Evan Jurcevic. And with one out, it's the top of the lineup again for the Tigers and Drew Peterson. Peterson 0 for 2. Tigers have just been able to deliver one hit to this point. Came last inning off the bat of Jake Reck. Off that hit, they scored a run. This one's driven out to right center field. A couple of steps over though, and in time, putting it away is Carter Olson for the second out. So Peterson falls to 0 for 3 on the night. And with two outs, that'll bring Tanner Christ stepping in. Christ. Struck out twice, the first swinging, the second looking. Trying to avoid the sombrero here. Pitch missing low, 1-0. Chris came in 8 of 34 at the plate. As he grounds one to Schneider at short. Schneider with the throw, delivers in time. It's a one, two, three inning for Mason Porup and Southeast Polk. Six in the books. Tied up at one, Southeast Polk and West Des Moines Valley. We continue on the other side with more high school baseball on KXNO and CISN. For all of your in your... Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Introducing the new Carhartt shop at G&L Clothing. All the Carhartt you've dreamed of under one roof. Some call it Carhartt heaven. Stop in today and see for yourself, but be prepared to stay for a while. The new Carhartt shop at G&L Clothing. Open seven days a week, 1801 Ingersoll. Online at glclothing.com. G&L Clothing. Seventh inning, a new pitcher into the game for the Valley Tigers. It will be Braden Ketcher will make the appearance out there for the Tigers after a wonderful appearance from Parizic. Ah, check that. Hayden Barra 
will be getting the mound work here. Had the old roster. I see there. There's a 13 up there. But oh, there's another 13 here. Another sophomore after the sophomore Oliver Parizic exits. Giving up just one earned run in his varsity debut. This will be Hayden Barra getting his look with the Tigers for Barra. Also his varsity debut this season for the sophomore trying to get out of this one unscathed and give his Tigers a chance at a walk-off as we play in the seventh inning. First pitch missing off the plate for a ball. 1-0. Southeast Polk also going to the bench with a pinch hitter here. As it's fouled straight back, one and one. Don't have a 28 on our roster here tonight. Apologies for that. One and one the count from Barra. Pitch well off the plate for a ball. Just have to commend the work we saw from Oliver Parizic on the mound. Go out there and pitch six innings against the number four team in the state. Gave up just one run. He was really good. He will not factor in the decision tonight, but got to be a confidence boost, not just for him, but another arm you feel confident with if you're Coach Cooley. Big swing and a miss. And Barra comes in and gets a strikeout. So a couple of youngsters out there for West Des Moines Valley. I mentioned earlier some of the injuries that they've been dealing with this year. A chance for some young guys, though, to get some looks, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Austin Enos watches a strike go by, 0-1. You know, so for one, he popped out to the catcher his first time up and sacrificed the runner over back in the fifth. This one skied in the infield. Shortstop, that's Chris, he'll make it for the second out. So Chris with a, another put out. And it'll be Evan Jersevic due up. Jersevic 0 for 2. He struck out with a runner at third back in the fifth inning. One of the two strikeouts in the game for Parizic. Called strike 0 and 1. 1 1 our score. Southeast Polk and West Des Moines Valley. On a hot Thursday night. Here in late June, one and one the count. Well, scheduled for seven innings. That's what they play here at the varsity level, Iowa High School Baseball. Ground ball to the shortstop and Chris, but skips by off the glove. Took a funky hop off the lip there of the infield. And Joseph picks aboard after an error on the shortstop. So the Base runner with two outs, Southeast Polk trying for the two out rally. Caleb Creer will come up now for the third time. MLB scoreboard from earlier today. This one has a chance for extras, but the Twins and Rays played two games, 18 innings of baseball this afternoon into the evening. In the 18th inning, the Rays finally won it. Time's going to be called. And a conversation out on the mound is Rex going to come out, along with the Valley pitching coach, Garrett Hawkins, makes his way to the mound. Also, infield going to come in here. So long conversation. Base runners over, over along with the batter for Southeast Polk, talking with Coach Hartman. Continuing on the baseball scoreboard here from MLB, the Rays won that game in 18 innings, 5-2. It was the Cubs a 9-7 win this afternoon against the Braves. The Phillies come back and beat the Mets 6-3. The Rangers over the Tigers 3-1. Pirates all over the Astros 10-0. Milwaukee finally gets Seattle 4-2 this afternoon. 
This evening, the Nationals leading the Marlins 7-4. And the Dodgers and Rockies, they're tied up at two apiece, that one in the top of the third. Our baseball scoreboard presented by Elite Eye Care, glasses, contacts, and a whole lot more. Dr. Ethan Heisman and his group, great doctors at Elite Eye Care, University Avenue in West Des Moines. As the summer continues on, thinking about making those optometrist appointments for you and your family before school gets going again, make the call out to Elite Eye Care, our presenting sponsor of our high school baseball coverage on KXNO. Cold strike two and one to Caleb Creer. Creer flew out to begin the third inning and struck out to end the fifth as Barra. Delivers and popped out of play. Runner was off with the pitch in Jersevic. But the count goes to two and two. Twos across the board. Crayer wearing number two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Top of the seventh inning. Runner off at first base. A 1-1 game with Valley and Southeast Polk. The Rams at the plate. Driven into center field. A couple of steps back. Couple of steps over and then into the right spot for Drew Peterson. Career goes down, no runs on, no hits. There was a runner left on as we played six and a half. It's Valley one, Southeast Polk one. Tigers coming to the plate with the chance to win it next as we continue on 1460 KXNO and video streaming on CISN.TV. Back with more here in a moment. Schottenkirk Waukee Chevy's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Up to $7,000 off select new 19 Equinox and Traverse. New 19 Equinox. Only $1,000 and first payment and fees to its signing. As low as $245 per month. The new 19 Blazer four-door LT. As low as $329 per month. Get more for your trade-in in Waukee. Schottenkirk's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Ends June 30th. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. Kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way to detect cancers early and save lives. And that's good enough for me. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule your mammogram. Iowa Radiology. Our focus is your good health. Bottom of the seventh inning, Southeast Pokin Valley tied up at a run apiece. High school baseball on KXNO. As Mason Porup comes out for the seventh inning, he has given up just one hit tonight against this Tiger lineup. That one hit came around to score the first run of the game, though. Southeast Polk, though, answered with a run of their own in the sixth inning. But Valley... One run away from winning this one and able to get a split after Southeast Polk took game one, 8-2. 3-0 the count as leading it off is Tanner Christ, which is a called strike. Check that, Casey Stalzer. Leading it off for the Valley Tigers in the bottom of the seventh inning. 1-1 the score. Big swing and a miss. Stalzer was trying to send us home right there with that swing. 3.05 down the right field line. Count goes full. Here's Porip with the pitch. Grounded to the right side. Deep in the hole. Jersevic. That'll skip by him. And into right field. A leadoff single for Casey Stalzer. Tough play for Jersevic as he was ranging all the way over to his glove side. He was playing up the middle. That one went in the hole between first and second base. It'll be a single for Stalzer. And now Nick Buttoff will get an opportunity. Buttoff walked in the second, stole second base, then lined out to the shortstop to end the fourth. His third look against Mason Porip, the right-hander. Pitch up to the eyes, throw down to first. Throw was a little bit high for Minos, the catcher. But diving back in is Stalzer. 1-0 the count to Buttoff. Jake Reck waiting on deck. 
Leadoff single here. He has the other hit in the game for the Tigers. Curveball popped into center field. That one's got some carry to it. Going up in front of the warning track. Finally able to put it away with a step on the warning track was the center fielder Caleb Creer for the first out. That thing just kept going and going and going. Creer finally able to nab it in right center field with a foot on the warning track. He was moving there. And now Jake Reck. Reck one for two, flew out to right field his first time up. Did that on a 3-0 count. Then singled. Run was scored from there as Ben Dete came in for him. Wreck the catcher for the Tigers. So courtesy runner was allowed. Ben Dete was that runner that scored the only run for Valley. Throw over to first. 1-1 R score here in the bottom of the seventh inning. If the Tigers can't get a tally. We'll play extras tonight. Throw over again. Looking at Stalzer. Owen won the count to Jake Reck. Stalzer this year, two for two in steal attempts. High fly ball into right field. Easy play there for Olsen. For the second out. So after the leadoff single, back-to-back -back fly outs. Not able to move the runner up, and now it'll be up to Jake Auer. Try to extend the inning for the Tigers. Or we'll go to extras. 1-1 one, one the score. Southeast Polk one run on four hits. <coughs> Called strike on the outside corner is Mason Porup. Dialed that one in. One run on two hits for Valley. Throw back to Stalzer at first. Calvin Harris, the first baseman, playing catch with Porup. As he checks on him again. Coming up after the game, we'll award our Kempker's True Value Player of the Game. It's summertime. Maybe thinking about a new grill. Those home projects. And all kinds of rentals for around the house over at Kempker's True Value. Big thank you to them and presenting sponsor of our high school baseball coverage this season. Stop by, say hello to the group for all your hardware and rental needs. There's a called strike. Good pitch again for Mason Porup, who has been sharp throughout. Count goes to 0-2 now to Jake Auer. Auer 0 for 1. Grounded out his first time up, then sacrificed the runner over. Just missed, and it's one and two. Southeast Pokeside, they wanted the call. Didn't get it, though, as Auer stays alive. One ball and two strikes with a runner at first. Runners off. Here's a line drive off the glove of Jersevic. He'll try for first, and not in time. Jersevic jumped high for that one. Just hit off the webbing of the glove. So another base runner for the Tigers. And with it, a runner in scoring position. As Auer reaches on the air against the second baseman, Evan Jersevic. Stalls are at second. Auer at first. And Peyton Harriman. A chance to deliver. Two outs, bottom of the seventh inning for Peyton Harriman. First pitch swinging. This one driven out to right field. That's a long run. That is out against the wall. That'll win it for the Tigers. Peyton Harriman with the walk-off winner. And West Des Moines Valley gets the win 2-1 to one over Southeast Polk. How about that? Peyton Harriman, limited at-bats this year, but when they needed him, he came up in a big way. The junior, just his second hit this year at the varsity le level, is a game winner, and West Des Moines Valley wins it 2-1. to one. We'll take a break, come back on the other side with the post-game show. Valley, a 2-1 to one win over fourth-ranked Southeast Oak on our Central Iowa Game of the Week. We come back on the other side with the post-game show, and we'll award our Kempker's True Value 
player of the game, back with the post-game wrap-up on 1460 KXNO and video streaming at CISN.TV. For all of you... Is this guy a contractor who does good work or a contractor who needs work? For a reliable recommendation, trust the Better Business Bureau, protecting consumers for over a century. When you go to BBB.org to check out a business, you'll learn if it's BBB accredited, see its grade on customer service, and read honest, useful reviews from local people. For online recommendations you can trust, start with trust at BBB.org slash Iowa. Introducing the new Carhartt Shop at G&L Clothing. All the Carhartt you've dreamed of under one roof. Some call it Carhartt Heaven. Stop in today and see for yourself, but be prepared to stay for a while. The new Carhartt Shop at G&L Clothing. Open seven days a week, 1801 Ingersoll. Online at glclothing.com. Introducing the new Carhartt Shop at G&L Clothing. Kirkwaukee Chevy's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Up to $7,000 off select new 19 Equinox and Traverse. New 19 Equinox. Only $1,000 and first payment and fees to its signing. As low as $245 per month. The new 19 Blazer four-door LT. As low as $329 per month. Get more for your trade-in in Waukee. Schottenkirk's Summer of Chevy Selldown. Ends June 30th. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WalkieChevy.com. One final time in West Des Moines, the Valley Tigers pick up their 10th win of the year. A 2-1 upset victory against fourth-ranked Southeast Polk. Rams took game one, 8-2 here. The Tigers bounce back and get the split 2-1 on a walk-off hit from Peyton Harriman. Right fielder getting the start here tonight. And his first RBI of the year comes there with two outs. Runner at second base. And he delivers, scoring Casey Stalzer for the game winner and a walk-off in the bottom of the seventh inning. A 2-1 win for the Valley Tigers. And certainly a great one overall. So let's take a look here at our final numbers and award our Kempker's True Value Player of the Game. A couple of different directions you can go. Certainly Peyton Harriman was right there. Now let's give Duel. Both Peyton Harriman, his first career RBI at the varsity level, coming there on that game-winning hit. But i got to give a shout-out to Oliver Parizic, making his varsity debut. Six innings pitched, a couple of strikeouts, gave up four hits against a high-powered Southeast Polk lineup. Though he didn't uh, factor in the de decision, Parizic, an outstanding effort out of him. He's making his way over to the dugout right now. He's got those long flowing blonde locks he's got a smile on his face as do the tigers with the win valley jumps to on the year 10 and 15 on the loss southeast poke falls to 21 and 9 on the season that'll do it for our coverage here tonight again our kempkers true value players of the game peyton harriman delivering his first rbi of the season a walk-off winner and oliver parisic and a great pitching performance for West Des Moines Valley in the victory 2-1. to one. Thanks to everybody out there for listening. 
with us on 1460 KXNO and for everyone watching on CISN.TV, a big thank you to all of you for being here with us tonight. Thank all of our great local sponsors, including Rush Nigget of Brick Gentry Law PC. You can find more information, rushonbusiness.com. Don't have to worry about going to Minneapolis or Chicago to find a business lawyer. There's one here, a great one, and a presenting sponsor of our high school baseball coverage, rushonbusiness.com for Rush Nigget of Brick Gentry Law. Also, Kempker's True Value, who awards our player of the game each and every week. And, of course, Elite Eye Care, just up the road from us here on University Avenue in West Des Moines. Thank you to all of them for helping us out this high school baseball season. Final score for the final time. It's a Valley winner in walk-off fashion. 2-1 to one over fourth-ranked Southeast Polk. We now send it back to regular programming already in progress on 1460 KXNO. Good night, everybody.